I'd like the member of the debate and parliament, Namgyal Dolkar Laghari, to come into the debate. Ms. Namgyal, my question to you is this. Can you tell me from your perspective the dangers of providing any kind of endorsement, any kind of endorsement to the Chinese Communist Party? Can you explain to all our viewers from your perspective why we sh nobody should be doing this? Uh, Arnab, uh, may I request my co-panelists to kindly give me a quiet time? And I'm here speaking as a Tibetan refugee born in India uh, due to Tibet's occupation by Chinese Communist Party. And I remain fully aware of the fact that China lacks any... Debra. So that please let China us lacks any commitment to continue, the principle of respect for the sovereignty and the territorial integrity of India. So it is clearly evident from uh, China's border aggression over the years breaking every bilateral agreement. So I believe that you know the principle, morality and dignity of communism as an ideology is absent in Chinese Communist Party and its leadership. So uh, the pursuit of class equality in the Chinese communism is today replaced by hunger for political power, military aggression, and territorial dominance of its neighbors. So uh, the, uh, the revolution in China that began with the uh, strong participation of the peasants and the working class, basically the masses, today is, uh, you know, today an authority uh, is uh, a game of Xi Jinping and his stooges. You know, the Chinese Communist Party under Xi Jinping today is this sophisticated, uh, bloody-handed dictatorial expansionist uh, trying to reassure the world that it is a socialist communist uh, with a Chinese characteristic. So I believe that any nation, institution or individual standing against CCP policies of brutality and exposes its true faces, experience prosecution and challenges. So I believe that it's up to the communist parties across the world and in India to acknowledge what China is today is not communism and also decide if they endorse or oppose the destruction, inhuman torture and murder by this Chinese Communist Party towards its own people within China and its occupied territory like Tibet and nations facing Chinese hegemonies that includes India too. So if we indeed reject these human rights abuses and intimidation tactics by CCP, I think it's important that we use every platform that we have available to clarify that and speak up about it. You know, I truly believe, Arnab, that dialogue and alliances are paramount to establish peace and harmony, but it can only be formed between two groups with presence of trust and mutual respect. But my question is do we assume that Chinese Communist the, Party consider yep. the Republic and the Democratic India as equal? And can India continue to trust China and chant Hindi Chini Bhai Bhai on this date? So, so that is my question.